Hey friends, I'm back today and today we're tackling one of the biggest topics for websites, Google Analytics. Now this is a really scary topic because if you're anything like me, every time you log into Google Analytics, you have an aneurysm. There is so much data in there, it's hard to interpret, it's hard to make comparisons, and it's hard to know. What does your overall website health look like? So today we've got a system for taking your data out of Google Analytics, using a plugin called Supermetrics, getting it into a Google Sheet, and then understanding it in a uh, replicable way so that you can log in once a week, once a day, hit a quick refresh, and understand how your website's doing in 30 seconds or less. Let's take a look. So in order to be able to um, better understand our Google Analytics data, the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna use an add-on called Supermetrics to get this data out of Google Analytics' crazy confusing dashboard and into a Google Sheets where we can more easily understand and analyze the data. Um, so I've popped the link to um, this extension, Supermetrics, in the um, description below. So go ahead and you can grab that there um, and then just make sure it's installed on your computer. You'll see a button here that um, offers you that option. Cool. The next thing that we're going to do is you're going to want to be sure that you have a copy of the Google Analytics data spreadsheet from Magnolia House Creative. Um, again, we've got that information. How to access that is going to be in the description below. So once you've got your Supermetrics installed, we're going to come into our spreadsheet and we don't see a lot so far. That's okay. Um, the first thing that we're going to need to do is we want to start to get some data so that we know what we're working with. So what we're going to do here is we're going to open up our add-ons. We're going to head into Supermetrics and we're going to launch the Supermetrics plugin. Now, depending on when you've installed it and when you've last used it, it may have already been installed. It may already be launched. If it's, um, you might come here, you might see add-ons, Supermetric, and you might see launch sidebar. That works too. It may have already popped up and that's great also. Once we get here, that's when we're going to start doing the work. So we want to take your cursor, make sure that you've got box A1 selected. That's just going to make sure that all of our formulas work properly. Um, and we're going to come over here and we're going to create a new query. So the first thing that you need to do is you need to tell Supermetrics where the data is coming from. In this case, we're going to be pulling our data from Google Analytics. You may here need to um, connect your Supermetrics account to a Google Analytics account. Just follow the instructions. It's super easy. Then we're going to come down to our select views section. Um, and what this is going to do is going to say in all of your Google Analytics account, what do I specifically want to take a look at? What I've got here is um, some demo uh, data from a website. So we're just going to pull that up. You would click on wherever you've got your data stored. The next thing we're gonna choose is we're gonna look at the time period. I like to look at this time period or I like to look at these um, this particular data set over year to date. It gives me a nice long-term picture of um, how I've been doing over the year, how my analytics are changing week to week. If it's early in the year or you want an even longer range, you could um, include like last year and this year to date. Now we get into the metrics. So this is the good stuff. This is the data that we're actually pulling. There's three things that I think everybody needs to have a good handle on with their data. The first thing is gonna be sessions. So we need to make sure that you know how many people are coming to your website. A session is gonna be a unique person, it's a new set of eyes that comes to your website every 24 hours. So if somebody's coming day after day after day, those guys are registering as multiple sessions. The next thing I want to make sure you're looking at is your new users. These are people that have never visited your website before, but came during this week or during whatever time period that you're looking at. This is important because you can start to measure the growth of your audience. 
And then finally, we're going to take a look at page views. And page views are going to be really helpful for understanding how engaging your website is. Are people finding what they need? Are they logging onto your website and immediately leaving because they can't understand it? Or are they flipping through, um, reading several posts, visiting several pages? We want um, all of these three numbers, the higher the better. Now we come into the split by section and this is going to be the magic formula that we are using um, in order to make sure that our data is split properly to go into our formulas. So I like to look at the data over a weekly time period. I think that gives um, a good comparison. It gives me, you know, enough time to really get a good handle on the data, um, but it's small enough that you can look at other um, things that you've changed and look at, um, you know, things that might be influencing the data. So what we're going to do here is we're going to hit, um, we're going to make sure that we've got our year. We want to have our week. Um, this is going to give us a week number. You're not going to do anything with this number. It's just going to help get the cells in the right order, which is really important. And then we're going to pull um, the week that actually has the dates listed. And that's the part that you as a human being are going to be able to understand. Cool. Um, make sure that you have enough rows fetched or enough rows selected to fetch um, that you'll be able to get all of your data. Um, since I'm looking at about a year's worth of data, 50 is going to do it. If you were looking at multiple years, you'd want to make this number larger and larger. Um, one quick note with Supermetrics, they do have um, the free version of the app only allows you to have 100 queries per day. Um, so make sure, depending on what you're planning to use it for and what you're planning to do that day, that you're not trying to select way, way, way too many rows um, and burning through all your rows too quickly. Next thing we're going to look at is segment. Here, we're not worried about any particular segment. We want to see all the data, so we're not going to select anything here. Same thing goes for filter. The last thing that we need to take a look at are our options. Um, and what we're going to be looking at here is I'm going to recommend that you check this filter out spam referrals. Um, what we've got here is sometimes certain websites, they're usually pretty sketchy websites, usually a lot of like dirty porn sites, are going to um, either list your website or click through from their website to your website repeatedly. Um, it's just kind of a spam referral problem. They want you to notice their website in the data. It's really sketchy. It doesn't ever work for them. Um, it's just something lame that people do. So um, if you check this box, you're going to be removing that data. Your numbers will be a little bit lower than the kind of absolute, but it will help you start to understand um, exactly who the real people visiting your website are. It's not a huge deal. You can check it. You can uncheck it. Just make sure that you're comparing um, from week to week to week that you're leaving um, that you're uh, using the same view because if you do check this box, you're going to see a big um, dip in your traffic. Cool. So then we just want to get our data to our table. So we're going to hit this button, get data to table. Again, making sure that we've got A1 selected. It's going to fetch the data. It'll take maybe 15, 20, 30 seconds to pull in the data. And it's going to bring our data into our sheet. So this is awesome. At this point, we are done with Supermetrics for today. So I'm going to go ahead and close out of that. And now we've moved in. We've got our whole um, set of raw data. Now, as I mentioned before, we're not really worried about the year and the week number. Those were pretty much there just to make sure that we got our data broken down and in the right order. So we're going to go ahead and we can just hide those. Um, once you've built your data set here, you can refresh and refresh and refresh without ever having to pull um, your, uh, without ever having to unhide those columns. So we'll never have to look at those again. Now we've got a list and we're going to be able to see, okay, these are the weeks that we're dealing with. Cool. So now um, we've got all this information and this is great. We're looking at, you know, what have the numbers been doing for this particular website over the year? But it's not really that useful to us. We don't really care that much about the absolute numbers. What we're really most interested in is trends. Are things working? Are you doing better um, than you were doing a month ago? Is your audience growing? Is your traffic growing? Are people generally engaging with your website? 
So what we're going to do um, is we're going to start to analyze this data on a rolling 12-week average. And the formulas that we've got here are going to do all of that for you. I am not going to break down how the formulas work because I don't think anybody cares. Um, but basically, we're going to take these formulas and we're just going to drag them. We're going to copy them down to the last row of our data. OK, so what we're looking at here now is we've copied this all the way down and we're seeing um, the overall trends for this website. So what we're seeing here is, OK, in April 4th, between April 4th and April 10th, when it came to the number of new sessions, we were down 32% compared to a 12-week average. We were down 37% in the number of new users, and we were down 31% in page views. It was not a great week. What if we come down here, August 15th through August 21st? Here we're seeing a 38% increase in the number of sessions, a 42% increase in the number of page view or in the number of new users, and a 19% increase in the number of page views. This is awesome. We're seeing great growth this week. Now, the magic comes especially when we get down to this last row. So this last row tells us the week that we're currently in. Um, and the week that we're currently in is going to be a little bit shorter. So the weeks are, um, you know, you can see here last week we got 445 um, and this week it's 121. I'm shooting this on a Tuesday. So, um, you know, we've only had two days worth of data to accumulate in the spreadsheets. Now, you don't need to worry about that. We've got some Excel wizard shit happening in these um uh, formulas and we've got this scale here. So this is a number that you can mostly ignore but what it's doing is it's telling us what do we need to multiply our data by to make it look like a whole week's worth of data. So when we come over here we've applied this scale and we're just saying okay if I have um you know, if I were to get the same amount of traffic that I've gotten over the last two days, over the next five days, how would my statistics compare? That gives us a good way to do, you know, a weekly or daily check-in and see kind of how, how's the week going so far. Um, I find that really helpful, especially if I've started to post a couple blog posts, kind of want to see how they're um, responding, see how people are reacting to them, um, see how my traffic is being impacted. This can be really, really helpful. The last thing that we need to take a look at um, is our content notes. Now, this is a section that's purely for you. So what I recommend doing is as you work through your um, your weekly updates um, is make some quick notes throughout the week about what kind of content you're launching. OK, this is, you know, I've um, posted a new blog post. Um, I've, you know, sent an email newsletter. And give yourself some context for each week so that you can see which of your marketing efforts are working out and which ones are really not um, resulting in more traffic. One final note here, if you are using the content notes section, be sure when you're working in your data to not change the time period. It will continue to add on extra rows each week. Um, but you don't want to add, um, you don't want to change the time period. Otherwise, your notes will be all off and um, you won't know what week lines up with what week. You can always insert a little date note in here. Okay, it's 927 um, to keep yourself on track. But it's easier if you keep the same data span per spreadsheet. When it's time for a new year, go ahead and make a fresh new spreadsheet. The last thing that we need to know is we need to know um, how are we going to be able to keep this data updated. We've just been through a lot of work setting up your beautiful spreadsheet. You guys are going to be amazed at how easy it is to refresh. So every time you come in here, you're going to just open up your spreadsheet. You don't even need the Supermetrics panel on the right side. You're just going to come to Add-ons, Supermetrics, and you're going to refresh all. This is going to slowly work in the background. It's going to pull those queries. Again, it'll take maybe 10, between 10 and 30 seconds to load. And it's going to bring you the most updated data. That way, um, you know you've got the most current data in here. If there's a new week, it's just going to add on another line at the bottom of the screen. And you can just drag that formula down. 
And then when we're done, you'll come here. The other fabulous thing here is that this formula here, giving you the scale that you need to apply to your data, that one automatically updates. So it's going to go um, off of today. Um, so there's nothing you need to do here and you can continue to use this spread week after week. I hope you guys got something out of this. If you have any questions or any ideas that you'd like um, us to see to see us cover in future videos, go ahead and pop those in the comments for me below. If you enjoyed this and you want to be able to get more, um, go ahead and hit subscribe. We'd really appreciate it. Thanks, guys.